I came. I came. Peace I came. The world did not receive me. What is this all about? The bounties and beauties of the soul find purpose in processes of intellectual exploration. It is for my soul's goodness to understand this matter. This matter. This matter. What is the hell all about? Peace. Peace. I came. The world did not receive me. I need this to be a, a happy man. I can't bear with all this lonely life. Grandpa Daniel lived a life that has become a dream to many of us. To many of us. This is amazing. I need the peace to be a happy man. I'm coming! Who are you? I'm this messenger of fears. He has sent me here for an eternal purpose. Please, I'm tired and I need to rest. Who is Theus? God! Oh, I know God. How did you come to know him? Of course, I learned about him in a theology class taught by Professor Jeff. I'm surprised that you know him intellectually. No, 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 no. I know him intimately. Putting that aside, Theo sent me here to tell you that he is the owner of planets. The planet of the earth, the sky, the hell, and the heavens are all his. All the evil powers on the earth and the heavens were created by Theo, except the rebelled against him. Have I told you that Theo loves worship? I guess I have, but... In case I've forgotten, or whether I've asked you such a question, everything must be understood in the proper context. You know, worship is his DNA. It originates from him and to his sense. Don't be surprised that he has sense. We are the extension of his DNA, but he has a beloved son called Christos. That name has the power to change the destinations of all creatures. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Some for humans and some for hell. Creatures that worship him, heaven is their home. The evil powers and the disobedient humans have hell as their eternal abode. But I guess you haven't understood that correctly. His will is to destiny, everybody, to heaven. That is a lovely place. Hmm. I don't think I've got you right. Really? I'm amazed by knowledge of the destiny of every creature. Most people I know are godly creatures. Really? Of course. They're good fellows out there. A whole bunch of them worship thieves. The rest don't have peace whatsoever. Peace, peace, peace are words I found in my little book. Oh, it was thieves. Not to you. Did he put that index card in my book? I think so. But I never saw him do that. My conscience tells me that must be him. But he broke the law. He was an introvert in my house. He is always with you. I have a question for you. Where was he when I nearly died because of a nightmare? It was in a nightmare. He made you go through that. He wanted you to read those three lines speaking about him. Is he really peace? Of course. I know that you completely surprised, but that's what he does to those he loves. But don't misunderstand me. When I say love, that doesn't mean that he also hates. That's not his nature. He doesn't hate anybody, not even zombie creatures. He just hates Mrs. and Lucifer, the architect. I hope your small brain can grasp what I'm saying. But there has never been such a thing as small or big brain. 
It is just that this an endowment that thieves gave to every human. And he gave to every human a brain to function in his own way. Do you know how I call that? It's uniqueness. You just can't say that they have a small brain. What thieves doesn't have such qualities in humans. And rejecting what Theus says keeps most humans in mental hallucinations. Yet, they need this. And that's what Theus is all about. He wants all humans to experience peace in their souls. Most humans intoxicate their brains with endless th myths and theories. Theories and myths are the genesis of restlessness in human soul. That's the same thing with you. Did you recognize that before? For long, you have traded myths in your soul. Look, your bedroom is littered with scores of mythologists dating way before the first century. Do you know that mythologist, Lucifer? I think you, you do know about him. I just think so. But Lucifer has arrested the souls of humans to the extent that they can experience peace. I'm tired of hearing your nasty words in my house. Nasty? Did I hear you utter such a word? Nasty! Nasty! I have pity for you. Man is destroyed by the kind of poison that proceeds from his heart. He even lacks the peace and he lives a wretched life. But that has never been my God's will for humans like you. If you listen to Christos Theus' said, you will have power to triumph over your obstacles. I have heard many obstacles since I was a little child. Ever since I was a little child like this. I don't have any equities with obstacles. And what should I be proud of? I think the nightmares I heard today should be the last ones. The nightmare you heard was just the beginning of obstacles in your life. And I want to give you an assurance that more deadly things await you in the near future. Like what? I'm talking about wars, men and animals. What a hellish nightmare. I wish I was here. I would have saved this innocent man from the killers. This is strange. Why would I have to meet this in the world like ours? How does this man survive in the forest? Why are you here? Identify yourself. This is my territory. You are not supposed to cross here. Sir, I am a sojourner. Where from? From the land of struggle. Where are you going? The land of promise. <laughs> I don't like to hear that country. Why? Why? 
We are not supposed to talk much, because you are just a stranger in my land. No, 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 I thought you were stranger to This land belongs to me and my princess. You sound scary. Be careful, as you treated your past in my territory. My princess will fight you and kill you. My flight will be as swift as an eagle. You are attacking me in my territory. <laughs> What happened to him? My soldiers killed him. Why? He claimed to be a man of peace. That's something I don't want to hear. I am an agent of peace. Mr. Yeah. Jar, I have walked a long journey. And I've fought battles. Very many battles. But I've learned in this journey oh, yeah? that we must meet tough times. Reading scores of the first century fighters, I learned one thing. There was a kingdom of lethal, was a kingdom of strangers. We called them sojourners. They walked from here, and they were walking to a place called the promised land of fulfillment. But when they reached the kingdom of Mitra, they were attacked by monsters. They didn't kill them. In the beginning, they continued to walk, and they reached at the kingdom of Ithra. This is called a, a kingdom of Ithra. See. There was a fierce battle, but they managed to conquer the monsters at the city of Ithra. They continued walking, because I told you they were travelers. And they continued walking, and they reached the promised land of Fofame. Okay. This was an alley of conquest. So, what did you learn from that? What I learned from their journey uh -huh. is that we should be victorious. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. Thanks. Yeah. We should be victorious. Yeah.